To make a battery from a potato, you need two dissimilar metals. These are galvanized nails. They're coated with zinc. And you'll need some copper wire. You can also use copper tubing, sheet, or pennies. Galvanized nail. And a penny. 0.8 volts. 0.22 milliamps. By increasing the surface area of the two metals inside the potato, you can raise the amperage. I'm going to use this zinc coated galvanized steel and this copper sheeting and make larger electrodes. Copper and zinc coated steel. 0.58 milliamps. You can increase the voltage by connecting more batteries in a series. 2 volts. It's barely enough to light this LED. Now we're ready to make a big battery. But what I'm doing here is making one and a half volt pairs of potato batteries. Two potatoes in a series and then hooking them into parallel into one complete battery. 20 potatoes produces 10 milliamps at one and a half volt. Well, the potato batteries are not very effective. And it would probably take about a hundred of them to run this MP3 player. So we're going to have to make something more powerful. I'm winding about 8 feet of solid copper wire onto a Gatorade bottle. This will be the cathode. For the first test, we're going to use an electrolyte of salt water. I'm filling this Gatorade bottle with plain water to weigh it down and keep it from floating. Pour in the salt water. Copper is positive, and the aluminum is negative. Make sure that the copper wire inside your battery is not touching the aluminum foil. 0.63 volts, about 95 milliamps. I've poured out the salt water. I'm going to try a solution of half bleach and half water. Just under 2 volts. Roughly 250 milliamps. Got the MP3 player wired up. It works. We've got power. Homemade power. We now have two bleach batteries, both made from one gallon jugs, aluminum foil, two Gatorade bottles wrapped with copper wire, two bleach cells in a parallel circuit. It's producing a half an amp, 500 milliamps. Just under 2 volts. Let's see what else we can power. Small motor.
two ultra bright LEDs. Raising the Gatorade bottle cathode out of the electrolyte causes the power to drop out and the LEDs dim. This is an ultraviolet LED and this is a piece of Vaseline glass. It's glass made in the 1930s, 40s, 50s. Using uranium oxide it makes this kind of an eerie green glass and it glows in black light. Here both bleach batteries are connected in a series to charge two AA 2000 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride batteries. I'm going to charge them for two and a half hours. And they're up to four amps after a two and a half hour charge. 1.33 volts. We have the two bleach batteries powering this little homemade motor. After about three days, most of the aluminum and copper will be corroded away and the batteries will go dead. Metal corrosion occurs from just being close to the bleach. You can save your test leads by just twisting on some wire. Wash your hands good and be careful with bleach.